In this video, I'll show you how to perform a network optimization in any logistics. The purpose of the optimization in this video is to organize a two-tier network and estimate the amount of product the cheese plant should produce each month. We consider a cheese distribution network on the territory of France with the cheese plant, located in Laval, supplying groceries with the corresponding weekly historic demand. Six warehouses are spread over the country. Let's check out the scenario data. Warehouses and the factory. The list of customers. And their locations. Groups of objects. Information about the product. The historic demand for each customer. Notice down penalty and up penalty. These columns define the penalties to be paid per product item for violating the specified demand quantity. Product storages. This table allows you to define the inventory stock parameters. As you can see, we can store cheese in any site, and three of them have initial stock at the beginning of the year. Production. This table allows you to define the product that will be produced by the specified facility and the corresponding costs. Product flows. This table allows to configure sourcing parameters. Paths which connect location points within the supply chain and facility expenses. We need to add additional data to our scenario. The first step is to add potential locations for distribution centers. With the aid of the built-in ALX World Cities database, users can generate new facilities based on desired minimum population. The required tables will be filled in automatically, and the DCs will be displayed on the map. The next step is to adjust the existing flows to specify a two-tier structure. Let's define paths to reflect new flows. To optimize the costs of supply chain components, we need to add facility expenses. including carrying costs, expenses for storing the site inventory per unit, and other costs, expenses for warehouse maintenance. The main criteria for our optimization is the desired number of sites. Let's specify it in the Assets Constraints table. We need to only open one. Now that all the data is complete, let's run the experiment and analyze the results. The results are available in the dashboard below the Experiments view in the form of statistics distributed through the tabs on the left. Each tab refers to a certain type of statistic. If required, you can rename, remove a tab, or export the content of the tab's statistics to an MS Excel file. This table depicts the best set of network nodes, profit, and total flows amount. Scenario data and experiment results can be displayed on the map view as well as on the structure view. The structure view shows the logic structure of the scenario. It depicts the main elements of the supply chain, customers, DCs, factories, suppliers, with their connections. The best DC location search was not the only goal. We also wanted to estimate the monthly production rate. As you can see, the greatest load at the factory falls in the period from May to September, the most popular months for tourism. As we want to evenly distribute production flows for each month, let's make a production plan for our supply chain. Here you can see the mean value of production flows. It equals 3,068 cheese heads. Let's round it up, for example, to 3,100 heads per month to limit the production throughput. We'll run the network optimization experiment once again to check how the supply chain operates with this limitation. As a result, we got a negative profit. Let's analyze demand fulfillment. As you can see, we received penalties for violating the specified demand quantity. To satisfy the demand, let's increase production throughput 
for example, buy 100 cheese heads and run the network optimization experiment. Notice how the profit has increased. As you can see, we satisfied all customer demand. And got a production master plan for the year. That's how network optimization in any logistics allows to conduct supply chain master planning by period, like month or week, to optimize where and how much you need to produce, store, and ship. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use any logistics to solve your supply chain challenges, feel free to contact us by email.